So why'd you do it? Playing innocent isn't going to save you. Save me from what? I don't even know what I'm doing here. Richard Enns says here you're a mechanic. I know who I am. Married, uh, you have a daughter. Your wife filed for a divorce after she left you for another man. Tell me, she leave you and go to him? Or while you're together, you thought maybe either, you know, Scott Merrick is dead! What? Seem to be a little hazy on the facts, Dick. Let me refresh your memory. found out Mary was cheating on you with some rich prick, Scott Mary. She filed for divorce, took your daughter, blah, blah, blah. And if that wasn't enough, he took your wife and he didn't want you to forget it. He couldn't let things be. So he brought you his car to rub it in your face. Did this smell like sex in the back, Richard? <laughs> no, I can't decide. If he's genius. Rubbing it in your face like that. I was stupid into thinking that he would fix his car. So how'd you do it? I didn't do anything. She cut the gas line. No, it'd be too easy to trace. Look, I didn't. Just loosen some bolts. No, it's too bush league. You've made a mistake. Did you mess with the tires, Dick? Surely a mechanic would know a surefire way to sabotage a car. I didn't do anything! My God. Messing with the brakes would be too easy. Unless, unless you replace the brake fluid something else. Whatever you think I did, it wasn't me. I'm innocent. Of course you are. Why would you want to hurt the man who ruined your life? And I bet you were surprised to find out that he'd been in an accident. What accident? You wanted him gone. You wanted him to pay. You're responsible for his death. You killed him! I didn't... I didn't mean...
I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You set me up. You sabotaged the car. You can't tell me the thought that never crossed your mind. Got something for you, Richard. Come out. We could talk. You know how this ends, Dick. You can't get rid of me, Richard! No, but I could shut you up! Oh. Uh -huh. 